We're thrilled to announce that the Honda Forza 750 has received an update following closely in the footsteps of the XADV. This bike is already one of the best maxi scooters out there, and a series of updates will make it even better. The 2025 Honda Forza 750 is here. It's a replacement for the initial generation that launched in 2021. The Honda Forza 750 is based on the XADV, but its design and specifications are tailored for the highway. For the second generation in 2025, Honda is taking things to the next level with big bike technology. Let's take a look. Let's start with a more aggressive design, which features sharp LED lights that at first glance resemble the latest Honda NT1100. The engine is still a 745 cubic centimeters parallel twin, and it's just as powerful as ever, delivering 58 horsepower at 6,750 RPM and 69 newton meters at 4,750 RPM. The Honda Forza 750 is the largest and most impressive Matic on the market today, outperforming the Yamaha T-Max with its 561 cubic centimeters engine. The Forza 750's transmission is not a CVT, but boasts a dual-clutch DCT gearbox similar to the one seen in the Honda Africa Twin. So that's why it can also change gears automatically. We can also use a button to change gears manually if you prefer. Thanks to the ride-by-wire throttle, you've got three awesome riding modes and HSTC traction control. The latest model has an awesome new rain mode for rainy riding. It allows more power to be held back for safety, so you can ride with confidence in any weather. And there's more. For those long tours, you'll love the cruise control and road sync navigation information on the screen. The instrument panel is a 5-inch TFT, and it can be connected to a smartphone for navigation and music player control. How cool is that? And now for the best part, the Honda Forza's amazing electric windscreen. You can raise or lower it with just a press of a button. The leg specs are pretty incredible, for example, the robust aluminum swing arm. The front suspension uses a top-of-the-line upside-down show of 41mm, while the rear is a horizontal monoshock. The trunk fits a full-face helmet, and there's a USB-C charger for charging gadgets in the front drawer. Another fantastic update is the use of Durabio material for the rugged body, which is more environmentally friendly than PP plastic. For the price, an exact figure hasn't been released just yet, but we'd expect a modest rise on the 10,499 pounds charge for the outgoing model. When it is available, you'll be able to pick one of three new colors, all of which are a little subdued. There's matte ballistic black metallic, iridium gray metallic with graphite black, and matte warm ash metallic.